It's Christy Titus here coming at you with another tip. When you're calling elk, it's very uh, common for them to want to hang up at like 70 or 80 yards from the collar and actually look for elk. So if you're in a situation like what's behind me and I'm the caller, I'm going to want to get into the timber and do my sounds from the timber if I have a bull coming out across a meadow. I don't want them to be able to look and clearly identify that there is not actually elk there. So it's really important where you set up as a caller, use the timber to your advantage. If I'm working a bull and I'm doing a cow-calf sequence like this, If I'm in the timber and I have a bull coming towards me to my uh, designated shooter, what I will often do is as that bull closes the distance towards me as the caller, I'll actually move away from that bull, um, bringing that bull closer to where my shooter is. That's really going to give my partner a lot more in-range shot opportunities and it's going to keep that bull thinking that that herd of elk is actually moving away from him. Keep him coming in. That's what we want this elk season 